Thank you, Deputy Speaker. I say at the outset that I think this parliament would be better off if we all did more yoga and less talking. Uh, particularly, I think I'd agree with myself even more if I could pick the people who had to do more yoga and do a little bit less talking. Uh, but the 21st of June is, in fact, the International Day of Yoga. It's the fourth annual United Nations International Day of Yoga. And uh, we've hosted this week uh, people practising yoga from all over Australia for the first time in any federal parliament. There was Indian TV there. Yoga, of course, is an ancient practice, and it means to unite, to join, uh, the bringing together the physical, mental and spiritual components of what it means to be human. It's a gift to the world from India, and it's widely practised in, across Australia, but also in my electorate, home to many thousands of migrants from India and South Asia. Um, I confess it is a life regret of mine that, despite a few false starts, I've never managed to build or maintain a practice of yoga. I've tried, I've failed, I feel silly, and so I admire people who do, not just for the exercise, but for the mental clarity it brings. In 1995, I actually visited an ashram and stayed there in India for two weeks. Oh, 2005, actually, I'm not that, not that wrong. Um, and did daily yoga with one of the fittest guys. He said he stopped counting how old he was when he was 90 when he turned 90, and he was unbelievable. Um, and so I congratulate people across Australia in their wave of yoga festivals this week, in my electorate and elsewhere, and also thank the Indian High Commissioner for being at the parliament this morning with us. 